In this video, I'm gonna give you three reasons why having anxiety in 2018 is awesome, so make sure that you stay tuned. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And I am like many other people who has struggled with anxiety for most of my life, and this is the year where we have so many different tools that can help us manage our anxiety in a variety of different ways, and they're very, very simple, and all of you already have these things, all right? So even if you just stumbled across this video or you're somebody who has anxiety and knows other people with anxiety, make sure that you please, please, please share this video with them. Quit being so selfish, help them out, help them understand why 2018 is so awesome for having anxiety. All right, let's jump into this thing. So reason number one, texting. Texting, 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 all right? So as somebody with anxiety, I also had a lot of phone anxiety. Like I grew up in you know the 90s and stuff, and you start talking to like girls and you're crushed, and you're like, hee hee, how are you doing? But the worst thing on earth for me or anybody who struggles with anxiety on the phone is like awkward silence, right? Like this awkward silence of sitting there and your mind, your mind just starts going like a million miles a minute. Like, what do I say? What are they thinking? Da 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 da. All this other stuff. With texting, you ain't even gotta worry about that because you send a text, it's like, hey, what's up, how you doing? And they're like, oh, nothing, I'm just I'm just chilling, you know? It's like, oh, what are you chilling doing? And then like, they don't get back to you for a while. And then you're like, oh, that's cool, maybe they're making a sandwich or something. You don't gotta freak out about all this stuff, except for those three little dots for all you iPhone users out there, or those read receipts. Those are somebody with anxiety's worst nightmare. We should do another video on that. But also, when it comes to texting, like we're able to identify who it is and we have time to prepare everything that we're saying. That's not something that we could do on the phone. Like with my anxiety, whenever I got it, whenever I used to get a phone call and I would see it ringing, like the caller ID, like you'd be looking at it and especially if it's an unknown number, like that is crazy right in, in and of itself. But again, if it's somebody else, like, you're freaking out wondering like, what do, what do they want? What do they need? So like, it's important that we text when we can if we struggle with anxiety. Like, use this to your advantage. Now, of course, there's a lot of us who have jobs, like I have a job personally where I call people all day, but when texting is available, use it to your advantage. Reason number two, dating apps. Like, as somebody who had anxiety most of my life, like, just even approaching a, a woman was, my worst nightmare because of that social anxiety and worrying every second about what's going on. And this kind of ties into the texting reason just a second ago, like through a dating app, like I could have a conversation without freaking out the entire time. I could take my time, look at what I'm doing because like when, <laughs> when I used to go out on dates and stuff like that, like even though I would meet women like through a, a dating app, like even when I went on dates, it like reminded me of being like Vince Vaughn on from wedding crashers, you know what I mean? Am I eating, am I talking too much? Are they talking enough? Am I interested? I'm not really interested. Should I play like I'm interested, but I'm not that interested, but I think she might be interested, but do I wanna be interested, but now she's not interested? So now all of a sudden I'm getting, I'm starting to get interested. And like, that's one of the other beautiful things about 2018. Like, dating apps aren't weird or creepy anymore. It's like not back like in the 90s where it was just like AOL chat rooms and it was just like some weird dude sitting in his basement like pretending to be like a 15 year old girl. Like, it's not like that anymore. Well, I guess there are still like cat fishes out there and stuff like that, but it's even more rare than it used to be. Like now you can get to know somebody before you actually meet up with them. And like that in itself is like very, very comforting. Like my rule of thumb back in my single days, like I would be able to talk to a, a woman for at least a week or two before we met up. So like I already knew her likes, her dislikes, things about her and stuff. So it's like the momentum of the conversation was already going rather than just blindly walking into that first date and trying to figure out what you have in common, are you even compatible, and all these other things. Like, for those of you who haven't checked out the Valentine's Day video I made for my beautiful girlfriend, you should go check it out. But, fun fact, me and her actually met on a dating app. Like, that's where we met, and it's amazing, you know what I mean? So, if you're somebody who struggles with anxiety, like, Use dating apps for your advantage. Like they can help you out a ton. And lastly, reason number three is delivery. Delivery, delivery, delivery. All right, so most of us grew up in a, in a time where like the most you can get delivered was like pizza or Chinese food. But now like 
apps have like changed the game. So for me, like <clears throat> I get a lot of social anxiety um, when I am in a crowded space it fuels my anxiety, it's very difficult. Now, like I, I use a bunch of different methods cause I actually don't use these apps because my anxiety is a little bit more tame than when it used to be. But like I highly suggest using these delivery apps if you're not ready to go out and just run around Costco or your local grocery store. Like when it's like the weekend and it's packed, like it can start making you have a lot of anxiety. And a lot of people, like they start getting frustrated and angry and upset. They take it out on their kids or other people. And everybody in there is just these walking balls of like anxiety. But now you have all these different apps. And by the way, hashtag not sponsored, but you have all these different apps that can pretty much pick up whatever you want. Not only um, are your food options even wider, so you can use things like Postmates. There's other apps that will just like grab something for you from like the gas station or around the corner on Valentine's Day. My girlfriend, she had Starbucks delivered to my door. She had Starbucks delivered to my door. But aside from that, aside from those little like snacks and treats you like, like there's other services where they will legit deliver like a week's worth of groceries to you. Plus there's all these other food places like what is it like Blue Apron where they deliver you like meals like prep meals that you could just put together, cook, and make. By the way, maybe that's how I can get a brand deal with Blue Apron. Yeah, Blue Apron, I'm coming for you. But like, just think about it. So you can do these things in the comfort of, of your own home. And since I got a little bit of time left, I'm about to drop on you a surprise reason. Reason number four. Movies. A lot of people get anxiety going out to the movies. You know what I mean? Like being in a crowded room next to strangers. Who are you sitting next to? Are they gonna be making noise? Are they gonna do this? Are they gonna do that? Is there somebody who's gonna be loud? Is somebody gonna talk to you? Like here in Las Vegas, um, the movie theater my son and I go to a lot. There's assigned seating and like trust, like nothing makes my anxiety go through the roof more than when somebody comes up to me and they're like, oh, you're in the wrong seat, this is my seat, and I start freaking out in my head. Like, now you have so many movies available to you in the comfort of your own home. Like, personally, I don't even use cable. I just use Hulu and Netflix and YouTube. Like, I watch a ton of YouTube videos, but there's this new movie, um, what is it, with Natalie Portman, it's called Annihilation. Like, it's, it's in the theaters right now, and it's about to be on Netflix very soon. And then Netflix has all of its originals on there. Like, I love all the Marvel shows and stuff like that. But, like, we live in a time where you can do so much from the comfort of your own home. So just think about that, think about that. Like I, I wanted to make this video because I'm, I'm extremely optimistic and I'm a glasses half full kind of guy. And it's all about like this gratitude that we have to have for the technology that we have. Like imagine if you had this type of anxiety, like I don't know, even like 20, yeah, even 20 years ago, even 10 years ago, half this stuff that I just mentioned, we didn't even have, like sure there was texting, dating sites were like, eh, you know what I mean? But now you can have groceries delivered and all that kind of stuff. Like stay grateful and use these things to your advantage. Now, don't get me wrong, this was kind of a fun video for me to make. Um, I, I do have a lot of other videos on how to manage your anxiety and kind of get out there into the world. But like a lot of my videos that I create, they, they are meant for baby steps, okay? So don't just plunge and dive into the deep end. A lot of them are baby steps. But I wanted to make this video um, so I can meet you exactly where you're at. And if you're somebody who feels uncomfortable, very anxious, going out in public for all these different reasons that I just listed, I wanted to give you some options so you understand that there are things available for you, all right? But make sure you're checking out my other videos because like the, one of the reasons I made this channel is like I wanna show people that no matter if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, um, addiction recovery, whatever the issue is, like we can function like everybody else. It's all about just having the tools to do so, okay? And it's gradual. We're working on a marathon, not a sprint, okay? But anyways, like I said, like I said, if you know somebody, if you know somebody who has anxiety, like be sure to share this video. Share it on Facebook, go tweet it at some folks, 
private message it, slide up in that DM, give them some help for their anxiety, okay? But anyways, thank you so much for watching. And if you are new here, I have, now I have over 250 videos about mental health. Click the little round subscribe button or click or tap on one of those thumbnails right there. In fact, do both. Do both of those things, all right? But thanks so much for watching. Manage your anxiety today, and I'll see you next time.